Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. War on terror. Global warming. None of that matters now that we're in the shit. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy. So listen up. The war on terror was just smoke and mirrors. Started by good old Uncle Sam. Using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists. Well, in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When you think about it, all of this, just another way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing... caps and genetically altered food and jihad then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain don't be fooled by all their misdirection folks they point one way you look straight at him this is mark copeland Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone is just lying their asses off. Is that about it? So... Yeah, oh, that's, that's, that is about it. That's pretty good advice. It's a little late, but it's good advice. Seeing me. Hmm. Okay. Gotta get the deck cord. Schizo's cabin. Let's see what you got. It's How do I ever trust this asshole? Who 
Hello. Guess Skizza won't be needing this. Shit list, Schizo. Yours. Gotta go see Addy. Get this arm fixed up. Can't let it get infected. We know what that means. Schizo graduated with honors? What? I knew he wasn't a gangbanger. Hey, Schizo. How's it going in there? You like your new digs? Deke? Deke! Talk to me, brother. You know why I did it. First of all, I ain't your brother. And yeah, I do know why you did it. Oh, Deke! Come on, damn it! It wasn't personal. You gotta know that. There was no other way. Talk to Iron Mike, please. You tell him. Tell him I was just trying to save the camp. That's all I ever wanted. Oh, I'ma talk to Iron Mike. As soon as they find your ass guilty, I'm asking him to give you to me. Come midnight, me and Boozer, we're gonna tie you up. We're gonna put you in the middle of the highway, and we're gonna wait for a horde. Deke, you gotta listen to me, brother! What do you suppose that feels like, huh? Torn apart? Eaten alive? Deke, I was just trying to stop Carlos, stop the Rippers, and keep this camp safe! This is our life, Deke! You know what? I think we're gonna do that whether they find you guilty or not. Goodbye, Schizo. Deke! Deke! Damn it, listen to me, Deke! I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry! I didn't want to do it, but I had to. And I didn't mean for it to go down this way. Deke! Listen to me! Deke! What do you want? I can't do this anymore. It's okay, I'm fine. What, what's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof diseases. Does this look like a fucking hoof to you? Addie, no, Addie. you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Hey, There's so many wounded. Addie. And so many die. Addie. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. So Addy's not a doctor, huh? Okay, so you're not a doctor and you still save Boozer's life. That's gotta count for something. Hey, Deke. So I want to go check on the explosives. 
to make sure, you know, the Rippers didn't steal them, and then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords, but I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. I guess we can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. <sighs> when I was a kid, my dad found a rat's nest underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, I waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I never forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp? No, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in peace. I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because of Iron Mike? Because of some fucking treaty? You know, I want to cut Schizo's throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't going to stop. Rippers ain't going to stop. And you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal. Boozer, I'm heading to the gate. You ready? Way ahead of you, brother. Okay, I'm almost there. Nice rifle. Yeah, a little present from Schizo. Remind me to be there when you give it back to him. Well, he'll be there. <laughs> Goddamn schizo. So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not! All right, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah, um, she worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to ride out there, pick her up for lunch. Caught her a ride on some of those back roads. Jesse! Carlos, whatever the hell he's calling himself. He's taken over the old golf course and resort. Just south of the lodge is the Crescent Lake Reservoir. Now we blow that dam, that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them all, like rats. Okay, but isn't the lodge up on a hill? Yeah, yeah, flood probably won't do much to it, but it'll do enough damage to the rest of the river compound to take out most of his men. And if Jesse survives, he won't see us coming. You got it. Now we just got to figure out how to get into the Iron Butte Valley without being seen, yeah? Well, I'll get us there. You just hang on. Okay. 
Uh, I've been better. Right, come on. We gotta finish this. Right behind you. This'll do. We gotta head south from here. Following you. Ripper sermon. Fuck off.
make something out of this. <laughs> Here we go. Green lights, green lights are good. Green lights are always good. Okay, let's see what we got in here. about due for a flu shot. Disciples even listen to this shit.
this easy. Nope. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask them if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing them the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Skizzo's rifle and keep them off me while I set the charges. Oh, hold, hold on. Look, I got this. Not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We're doing this? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. I'll wait here until you get up there. More scrap. Stay low, move fast. You got it, brother. Who's it? Oh, never mind. Go, go. Where, where do I set the first charge? You see the second set of scaffolding on top of the dam? Yeah, I see it. Heading over. All right, I'm setting the first charge. Nice job, booze man. Keep going. Rippers, coming. Nice shooting, Tex. Keep going, boozer. Come on, come on. And I'm setting the second charge. So hard. You got this? Yeah, yeah. See him. Ah! 